Welcome to PS Engineering Product Demonstration Studio. I'm Mark Scheuer and today I want to give you a demonstration of our PMA450A audio selector panel. At the heart is an all digital system that will provide pilots with capabilities never before available. Through the demonstration you're going to find out how easy it is to use the PMA450A. And as an added benefit, we've added more Bluetooth capabilities. Now you're able to connect to an iPad, an iPhone, even a digital video camera. So come along as I give you a demonstration on the PMA450A. The PMA450 front panel is logically laid out into four sections. The audio panel for your comp selection, your intercom with individual controls for volume, marker beacon receiver, and the user interface which consists of three soft keys and a graphics display, radio and intercom functions, flexibility with the entertainment, and the Intello audio and count down and a count up timer. Along with these functions we provide a 15 watt USB charger. The intercom has volume controls for the crew and for the passengers. The ICS or intercom switch changes the functions from everyone on the intercom to the pilot and co-pilot on one intercom and the passengers on a separate intercom. And the isolate where the pilot is connected just to the audio panel and all the other passengers can continue to communicate with each other. The marker is controlled by the MKR button. By pressing and holding, you can test the marker by pressing it for a short period of time it turns the marker audio on and off and by pressing it for a long period of time you'll see that the H appeared on the display indicating to the pilot that the marker is now in high sensitivity to go back to the low sensitivity you simply press and hold the MKR button the audio controller is very straightforward currently the pilot and co-pilot are on COM1 now they are on COM2. Now they're in split mode where pilots on COM1, co-pilots on COM2. Notice that the intercom went into the isolate mode. If the crew wants to speak with each other, they press the ICS button. Now we're back to COM1. And of course, if they want to hear the other COM, they just simply press the C2 button. We have NAV1 and NAV2, and also a radio soft key, which allows you to turn on the ADF or DME. And as a side note, you can label those the way you'd like from the front panel. We also notice that the intercom is in standard. Now it's an alternate mode. When an alternate intercom function, everyone's on the intercom, but the passengers hear no radio activity, and the crew won't hear the passengers when the radio becomes active. The entertainment button allows you to select how the music is distributed, how it's muted, and the individual volumes. As you notice, pressing and holding the button backs up one step on the user interface. Note the music symbol. That symbol is specifically for the pilot. This tells the pilot he's hearing music. If he wants to stop hearing music, he presses and holds the entertainment button and now the music is turned off. PS Engineering introduced the first continuous loop digital recorder to the general aviation population back in 1992. We've incorporated that digital recorder in our PMA450A. If you look between C1 and C2, you'll see two small arrows that are chasing each other. That's our symbology for our continuous loop recorder. What I'm going to demonstrate is air traffic control and how we will record those messages and how they're played back. Comic 2964, contact Memphis Tower, 119.7. 197, Comic 2964. AC 4956, turn right heading 090, reduce speed to 170. Right, 090, speed 170, AC 4956. Okay, so the last message we received will be the first message we play back. 
All you need to do is press and hold the, the C1 and watch the display and listen to the message. Zero speed, one seven eight six one nine fifty six. Forty nine fifty six, turn right heading zero nine zero, reduce speed to one seven zero. Something else I'm going to demonstrate is we can actually change the volume to the foreground or in the background, whatever suits your playback needs. 2964, contact Memphis Tower, 119.7. Out of 10 now, FedEx, you're about to hit me. So this is a great tool to play back the last recorded messages. You heard your end number and you weren't exactly sure what frequency. That's a great use for this playback function. This is a demonstration of Intello Audio. This is a patent technology we've licensed from the United States Air Force. Its purpose is to improve radio communications for the pilot. I'm going to turn on COM1, which happens to be air traffic control out of Chicago. Comic 2964, contact Memphis Tower, 119.7. 1967, Comic 2964. And now I'm going to add COM2, which is Chicago weather. 2.13, If you are listening to this in a stereo system, you'll probably find out that it's almost impossible to discern what either radio is. I'm going to turn the tele-audio on now. As you can hear, COM1 is at the 10 o'clock position and COM2 is at the 2 o'clock position. This allows the pilot to pay attention to the radio that's important at any instant in time. I'm going to select Intel Audio and Configuration, and I'm going to move the weather, which is on COM2, around your stereo headset by simply pressing the middle button. Now COM1 and COM2 are at the same exact position at the 10 o'clock. I'm now going to take COM1 over to the 2 o'clock position. Now you can tell that COM2 is at the 2 o'clock and the weather is at 10 o'clock. This is an amazing improvement in radio communications. I am now going to demonstrate the capabilities of the internal Bluetooth mechanisms. In fact, in the new PMA 450A, there are two Bluetooth receivers. I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook up the iPhone and the iPad. The iPad and iPhone will find the 450A BT1 and the 450A BT2. I'm going to make the phone BT1 and the iPad BT2. And in a short period of time, you're going to see the Bluetooth symbols for both the phone and the iPad, along with the battery condition of BT1. All right, we are now connected. I want to show you how easy it is to connect and make telephone conversations while your engines are running, your avionics are tuned and set, and you want to make a call to flight service, or you get a call from the ramp. And what we'll be demonstrating is the fact that you can change, you can answer the phone, change the volume of the phone, and hang up on the phone. And we've got a call from headquarters. Let's see who's on the other line. Hi, this is Mark. Who am I speaking to? Hi, Mark. This is James. Hey, James. You sound 5x5. Five five. Let me demonstrate how we can change the telephone volume. Would you mind counting up and counting down? Will do. One, two... So this is extra handy because if you're on a phone call and you hear the aircraft radio, instead of having to hang up, you can turn the volume down. Well, James, thanks for that demonstration, and I'll see you in a minute. You're welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. In addition to all of the radio communication and intercom capabilities that the PMA 450 has, it also provides a tremendous amount of flexibility for entertainment. Since I've connected my iPad to Bluetooth 2, I'm going to start playing some blues. We paid a lot of attention to audio fidelity. 
As you notice when I talk, the music doesn't mute. We're currently in the karaoke mode. But if the pilot would want the radio to mute during either radio calls or by intercom, he simply changes his mute mode. So now everything mutes the music for the pilot, only the radio mutes the music for the co-pilot. Instead of having to reach up and change the volume on your iPad, you can actually change the volume right from the audio panel. I'm going to turn the music back into a karaoke mode so that uh, I can listen to the music in the background. Music distribution. Right now the pilot's hearing Bluetooth 2, co-pilot's hearing Music 1, and the passengers are hearing BT1 and BT2. Now the passengers are not hearing any music. Music 1, co-pilot Music 2, and now I'm hearing BT1 and BT2. So if I were to start playing music on my iPhone, I'd hear both music at the same time. The purpose of that function is to allow the pilot to connect one Bluetooth for entertainment and the second Bluetooth for, let's say, ForeFlight or some other device that provides audio alerts. Well, I hope I accomplished my goal demonstrating how easy it is to use the PMA450A and how to access the advanced capabilities. I've shown you how you hook up a phone, an iPad, digital recorder, and our Intello Audio. If you have any questions pertaining to this or any of our other products, please give the audio experts a call. We'll be there to help. Thank you.